Hey guys, Wes with dndtonight.com, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm working on a Tyranid Hive Fleet for Battlefleet Gothic. Now, me and my partner have actually gotten really into Gothic over the last couple of weeks, and the only fleet that we didn't have was the Tyranids. And upon looking at their models on eBay and stuff, um, they, didn't, they didn't really age very well. Uh, so we're gonna use our 3D printer, and using a couple files we found on Thingiverse from a user called Bulldog UK, we're gonna print up a really, really cool looking high fleet and I'm gonna show you how to paint them using just a couple of colors. We're gonna speed paint this. Honestly, the whole thing probably took me about hour and a half, two hours tops. Stay tuned. Zombie apocalypse. If you like the models that you see here today, you can check out Bulldog UK's profile on Thingiverse. That's where I found all of these hive ships and they came out awesome. He even has a bunch of pre-supported files as well. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is go over the entire model with Pallid Witch Flesh. Now in the video, I'm just spraying the areas that I know I want to have that nice white Tyranid flesh color. I'm kind of avoiding the areas that we're gonna do purple later, all the carapace and stuff. And that's just really to save paint. If you wanna keep it simple, it's not gonna hurt it. You can just do a whole base coat uh, in the Pallid Witch Flesh. And I'm using an airbrush here and I'm doing a couple of them with a brush. It's just a base coat. You don't really need precision tools for this. The next color that we're gonna put down is actually an optional one. Uh, we're gonna take Druchi Violet and we're gonna mix it with a little bit of Lamia Media 
And that way we can kind of set up where we're gonna go into the Carabird Crimson Wash later. It's gonna add a little bit of a color variation. Now I thinned it down with the Lamian Media because I didn't want it to be too overpowering. I just kind of wanted like a subtle little transition area uh, for where we're gonna put down a red wash later. The purple and red actually mix really, really well together. Just be subtle with this and mostly focus it in the crevices and don't try to wash too much because we want to preserve that nice white color from before. After that, I'm moving on to the carapace, and for that we're gonna use a nice dark purple color. I'm using Nagaroth Knight here, but any dark purple will do. And painting over a white primer with a dark color like this, it's gonna require a couple of coats. Once that's done, we're gonna move back to our washes. So grab Karaburg Crimson, and we're gonna focus this in all of the recesses. I'm kind of avoiding the higher areas, and I just kinda of wanna tint the flesh all over with this. Now I'm using it undiluted, and that's because I really want it to be strong here. And don't worry if you mess up a little bit and you get it on some of those higher ridges. We're gonna come back in with that pallid witch flesh a little bit later, and we're gonna clean up all the little mistakes that we made. Give it a little bit of time to dry between coats, but you can go back in on the mouth and the tentacles and add a second or even a third layer of Caraburg Crimson as well to really kind of differentiate the red tones. Additionally, on the tentacles, I like to add a second layer of Caraburg Crimson near the base. That way it kind of looks a little bit darker where they're coming out of its mouth or out of the backside. Like I mentioned previously, we're gonna go back to our flesh color, that pallid witch flesh, and we're gonna go back in and just kind of hit the high points of the model. Anywhere that we spilled over a little too much of the wash, 
this is where we're gonna go ahead and correct those mistakes. Next, we got a quick and easy step. We're gonna use your shafty bone to hit all the teeth. After that, we're going to highlight the carapace. I'm using game color blue violet here, but you can use any light purple color you want, just something that contrasts well with the Nagaroth Knight from before. Gene Stealer Purple is a, a pretty good one from Games Workshop, but this is the one I had on hand, so this is the one I'm using. So for these smaller ships, I didn't really bother going too in depth with them. I just did a nice small line because they're pretty tiny. But on the larger ships, we're gonna kind of do a hatching pattern here and just kind of scratch downwards uh, as you go along the carapace. It'll leave a bunch of little lines like this that look really cool. <laughs> We're just about done with these, but the last thing we're gonna do is grab some gloss varnish or Ard Coat from Citadel if you have that on hand. And we're gonna hit the mouth and the tentacles to give them a nice wet look. And with that last step, the Hive Fleet is complete. Now, I had a ton of fun painting these and I was really impressed with the model quality on these things and the pre-supported files work like a charm. So don't forget to check out Bulldog UK's profile where you can find these and a couple of other really cool things that they've made. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're just starting out and it really helps this channel grow. If there's anything you wanna see painted or anything that you think that we should be focusing on, just let me know in the comments and I promise I'll get some really cool stuff coming very soon. And don't forget to check out dndtonight.com. That's the website that we run where we host our podcast and all these cool videos that we're making here on YouTube, along with a lot of other really neat stuff. So again, thank you so much for sticking through with this and happy wargaming.